What is going on, guys? Welcome back for another episode of Clash of Clans. And it is finally out, guys. We have an update. And I thought this update was coming out sometime over the summer, like late summer, early fall. But they do have the update, which is going to give you guys a lot of good stuff here. So if you guys are looking, then we're good. All right, so we have another war starting up. I'm glad. Raptor Slayer. Yeah, my buddy's back, man. Hey, Raptor Slayer. Shout out to you, bud. Long time no see. Hey. All right, so <clears throat> I think now with the update now, we can actually upgrade to Town Hall 12, and I'm not going to do it. No, sir. No, sir at all. I'm going to stay Town Hall 11 for like another two years. All right, so let's see what they have for, let me see, a live stream, meet the Electro, Electro Dragon. That's a new troop, I guess. Well, let's look at the patch and see what we have here. All right, Town Hall 12 itself is now a defensive structure capable of self-defending. You know what? I might have to go 12. Um, if an opponent is much, <clears throat> so much as scratches the paint, the Giga Tesla will emerge. Um, the bigger brother of the Tesla family of defenses, the Giga Tesla fires beams of electricity to its extractors, um, doing lots of damage in retaliation for ruining its pristine paint palette. All right. Um, the Giga Tesla will have five upgrade levels available. Each level increases how many opponents the Giga Tesla can target. Once your Giga Tesla is upgraded to its fifth level, you'll unlock the Giga Tesla's final ability. The Town Hall itself turns into a massive bomb, doing blast damage to surrounding opponents. Nice. All right, deliver your clan castle reinforcements directly into the heart of your enemy base. Um, Siege Machines. Siege Machine. Machines are mobile clan castles trained in the Siege Workshop to new building available to Town Hall 12 players and will carry and protect your clan castle reinforcements into combat. While the Siege Workshop can only be built by Town Hall 12 villages, Siege Machines can donate can be donated to clan mates of clan castles 6 or higher. Nice. So I would like to help my clan out and I would like to actually go ahead and get that. I guess I'm going to go with Town Hall 12 eventually, guys. Gonna go, go ahead and do it because this sounds pretty cool. And I like to donate to my clan mates. All right, so the wall wrecker. The wall wrecker will pillow through wall pieces, doing damage 10 times, and will hammer away at any other building along its path. Not only does the wall whacker provide a way to shield your clan castle troops from oncoming assaults, it opens up new strategies for funneling your army as the wrecker clears the way to victory. This is nice. They got a lot. Wow, the blimp. Where's the blimp? Seen something about a blimp. <clears throat> All right, so we got the battle blimp. The battle blimp soars over your enemy's defenses as it beelines directly to the enemy town hall. The battle blimp will drop a continuous barrage of bombs. The battle blimp is much faster than the wall wrecker, but take less damage before it ultimately forced to stop it or drop its payload. You can choose to deploy your clan castle troops normally by pressing... The clan badge icon and the attack uh, the old-fashioned way. Or you can choose to smash your way to Town Hall with a Siege Machine. And when you deploy your Siege Machine, your clan castle troops are automatically placed inside and remain inside until the three things happen. They reach the enemy Town Hall 12 or enemy Town Hall 2. The Siege Machine is destroyed. Or you can just um, self-destruct the Siege Machine to manually deploy your troops. New troop, the Electro Dragon. I, I like this. Available at Town Hall 11? Yes, yes. Um, the Electro Dragon can soak up a moderate amount of damage and dish out punishment that'll make enemies quiver in fear. Its lightning breath weapon will strike its target and will continue, uh, continue along its path, chain linking up to five different targets. When it receives fatal damage, it releases a stored energy as a final haul or hail of lightning bolts. Hmm, nice. All right, so Town Hall building levels, storage, elixir storage level 13, gold storage 13, dark elixir storage 7. Defense is cannon, everything is 16, archer tower, cannon. Um, I'm not going to read all this. This is a lot. This is a lot, guys. This is a massive update. Pekka can go level 8. Um, all three heroes um, have reached an additional 10 upgrade levels. Barbarian King, Archer Queen can be upgraded to 60, and the Grand Warden to 30. Nice. Quality of life changes, name change. What? We can change our names now? Yes. All right. You'll be able to change your name more than the amount currently available. Nice. All right. The first name change will be free, 
but each name change will cost increase by cross of 50 gems I like it and a maximum of 10,000 gems each name change will include a week cooldown period before you can change it again nice 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 there are times when we encounter a player with the appropriate name that doesn't belong to Clash Clans now there's an improved feature that allows you to report offensive privacy oh, that's stupid why wouldn't I tell on somebody let them have their name clan improvements if the clan leader leaves the clan the leader must assign a new leader before they leave the clan I thought that was normal I've done it before and I just push it off to one of my alts all right or one of my or um one of my clan or whatever the next guy's in line <laughs> all right so clan castle sleep uh, mode uh, just receive your clan troop donation but your shield timer is about to expire um, or perhaps you know you're going to be attacked but are unable to log on at the moment. Your clan castle can now toggle between guard or sleep modes. Sleep mode will prevent your clan castle troops from defending your village, keeping your reinforcements safe until you need them. Oh, hell yes! You know what, Supercell? Thank you, guys. This is amazing because I don't know how many times I'm waiting for a clan castle or actually a war attack. And, I, you know, I go to work and I come home. And I'm thinking, okay, cool, I got my golem or whatever I got still in my clan castle. But someone attacked me and deployed my troops. And that just makes me so mad. Then I have to ask for troops all over again and hope that I get them. This is massive right here, guys. This is amazing. Oh, my goodness. Copycat. Oh, copy uh, village layout. Uh, see clanmates village that you really like. When you visit your clanmates villages, you'll be able to copy their layout. Save precious time by redoing, the, redoing your base. This feature unlocks at Town Hall 4 for the home village and builder hall four for the builder base you're able to copy the base that is uh plus one or minus one level from your own what what all right clan games improvements we have added a number of new clan game challenges and make take advantage of the new town hall 12 content love it because i don't really like killing games guys i know my clan is like why are you not you're not doing the clan games because i don't like them uh, clan games result page will now show the leader after the clan games are completed and we have included a countdown timer to denote how much time you have left to claim your clan re games rewards war tool improvement if an attacker has used all their attacks in the clan clan war their targets um, their target calls will now automatically be removed in the clan war map okay I guess in-game notifications you can now specifically set what kind of notification you like to receive in-game from the mayor uh, more settings tab in the settings menu okay that's cool that's cool what else Looks like they have a lot more the cooldown between sharing replays has been reduced from 30 minutes to five minutes nice during serve maintenance power potion timers will properly pause nice balance change in economy wall ring the price of the wall ring has been reduced to 200 gems to 100 gems per ring number of rings required man this is a lot to read guys i'm so sorry this is a lot so just make sure you guys read this <laughs> i don't want to read anymore i just want to play all right so walls we understand upgrading your walls is a time consuming aspect of clash of clans as a result we are rebalancing how much walls cost <clears throat> for town halls five through ten no what about eleven no you know, all this time I've been at Town Hall like 9, Town Hall 10, and every time there's an update comes out, it comes out for Town Hall 11. Now, we're not getting anything for Town Hall 11? Come on! What's going on, guys? All right, so let's get some cheaper walls. All right, so treasury, you have um, increased the amount of your treasury can store across all Town Hall levels. Nice. Star bonus, the amount of resources awarded per, has been drastically increased. War loot, the amount of loot, yada, yada, yada. Percentage draws increased, yada, yada, yada. Spells, spells lightning spell, the amount of damage done like, has been increased. With a total of six per level. Nice. So lightning spell, it's gonna make a comeback, guys. It's drastic. So if you guys aren't using the lightning spell, I'm so a little sorry for you. Alright, so free spell. Free spell has been rebalanced to increase its utility. Okay, so that's gonna be another one. Um clone spell. I haven't really used it ever. Town hall upgrading. All available buildings must be placed before you can upgrade. Able to upgrade the next town hall. Good. So there's no more rushing. Thank God. All right, so um, Archer Tower, 12 increased. Another three. 13, okay, Inferno Tower. So everything pretty much increased. Except, for, yeah, damage increased, Bomb Tower, Eagle Artillery. Oh, I hate the Eagle Artillery, man. Remove the three-time damage bonus from to Golems. Nice! Um, healer. Heal reduce from 70. What? 
Minor improved. Movement speed increased from 250 to... Nice! Okay. Time reduced. I might have to start using the miners again. Um, time required for the miner to surface of uh, 1.2 seconds to 0 0.0 seconds. Nice. Giant. Level 7. Increased hit points. Bowler. DPS reduced. What? What? I don't like that. HP for P.E.K.K.A. Dragon. and Hit points increased. I'm here. What are they talking about? I'm here. All right, so the witch, level one MP, you know, uh, hit points increased to 320 from one to oh, 270. DPS increased. Oh, hell yeah, dude. I've been using witches. I think witches and bowlers are the way I'm going, man. Witches and bowlers. Added 20 wall pieces, four segments to Builder Hall 8. What? Oh, man. So we got to redo our bases, guys. Super P.E.K.K.A. decreased death damage. Okay, so that's cool. This is amazing, guys. I'm about to go back and redo my troops. And I know I'm going to have to redo my base all over again. I, you know, I've had the same Town Hall 10 or 11 base forever. And that's never... I don't know, guys. I don't play that game that much. But I do want to make a comeback now because this is an amazing update here. This is an amazing update. I'm liking it. Liking what I see right now, guys. I'm liking it. Okay. So... It's been so long since I was able to build anything. Let's see, update pack... Two builder potion, twenty wall uh, wall rings. <clears throat> okay, I don't care about that. Is there anything that I can build right now? This is amazing, gang. This is amazing. But that's pretty much the notes for the new Town Hall 12. I'm just gonna get ready to start playing the game a lot now. Loving what I see so far. I am loving it, loving it, loving it. All right, so we got to get our walls and everything else. We need to go back to Town Hall 11. I don't play Town Hall 11 very much, guys. Only during a war every now and then. But, you know, I'm going to start bringing it right back and making a comeback. So definitely thank everyone for watching. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I hope this was very informative to you. I'll see you next time. Peace.